You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video today on how to fix the screen resolution in Grand Theft Auto 2. So there's a few different ways you can do this. You can use AG's widescreen patch, or at least I've heard you can, I've never used it. Or you can do like what I'm doing today, which is use a little tool called DG Voodoo 2. Now, I made a video last week on how to install GTA 2 onto the computer, but I forgot to add this part to fix the widescreen support. So this video kind of acts as a sort of part two to that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So it's basically pretty simple. You wanna to go to this webpage, it'll be linked down below in the description. And this was actually updated about a week ago. It's called DG, DG Voodoo 2. And basically what it does is it changes the way that DirectX works within the game and how it's supported. And basically games that only have a four by three aspect ratio it then allows it to have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio by sort of stretching it out, but not in a way that looks necessarily cheap or bad. So for this, you're going to want to download the latest stable release, which is 2.74.1. It's going to download, it's 3 metabytes, depending on your internet speed, it may or may not take much time at all, as you can see it's already done for me. So, all right, so it's going to download it. Okay, so here's something else you should notice. My head's kind of blocking it, but you see here, I got a little notice from uh, Windows Defender that it thinks it's a virus. And important thing, if you get this from Windows Defender, from any other antivirus program, do be aware it is not a virus. This is just what's called a false positive where it thinks it's a, um, a virus, but it's not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the protection history in Windows Defender. I'm going to go to where it says threat blocked. And it says it's a Trojan. Again, it's not. It's a helpful software tool. It's just Windows Defender just doesn't understand. So I'm going to hit allow. And unfortunately, that did not restore it to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and download it again. Okay, now since I hit allow, it didn't delete it that time. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and unzip this. So if you have WinRAR installed, you can just extract it. That's what I'm going to do. If you have don't have WinRAR, it's a simple zip folder. You can just right click and hit unzip. Use the Windows built-in unzipping tool. All right, so we're going to open this folder up. All right, so this is the this is very important, and this is the the somewhat tricky part, right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where you have Grand Theft Auto 2 installed, and by default, it's going to install in Program Files x86, Rockstar Games, GTA 2. Okay. And you're going to want to copy these two. Hold up, not don't, ignore the folders for right now. You want to copy these two um, things right here: the conf file and the executable. And you want to cop, move those over to GTA 2. You want to authorize that. Okay. So then you want to go in the MS folder. Now it's going to give you two choices here: x86 and x64. So for the for this, most of these older games are running on as 32-bit games, so you're gonna to wanna to use x86. So while you can use x64, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I would go with x86 because x64 probably won't work. So you're gonna to wanna to take all the files in here and you're gonna to wanna to do, want to do the same thing, copy them over here to the Grand Theft Auto 2 folder. Okay, pretty simple. So next order of business, you're going to want to Right click on dgvoodoocpl.exe and you're going to want to hit run as administrator. If you just double click it and open it up normally, it will not work. Okay, so then it's, so here's where it says config folder, running instance. You don't need to mess with this, just leave that as it is. All right, so then what you're going to want to do is you want to go over here to the DirectX tab. This is the one we need to mess with. So the first thing I like to do is turn off the DG Voodoo watermarks because if you don't, then every time it launches the game, it's going to uh, to launch with, with that and... Personally, I just find that annoying, so that's usually just used for testing anyway. You can see right there, enables displaying the DG Voodoo logo during DirectX rendering. All it is is basically just a test to make sure the program's working well. Just turn that off so you don't have to deal with it. And then what we're going to want to mess with here is we're going to want to go to Unforced under Resolution, and we're going to want to change that to whatever the native resolution of your computer is. Many of you use a 1080p monitor, right? You're going to want to select 1920 by 1080p. 
For me, I use a 1440p monitor, so I'm going to want to select 2560 times 1440. Usually, whatever is the lowest one on this list is the one you want to go with. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And then up here, you see where it says video card and it says VRAM? I would set this to probably 1024. It really just depends whether you have uh, an integrated graphics chip into your computer or you have a dedicated video card. If you have a video card, set this to 1024. If you don't have a video card or you don't know what that is, don't mess with it, just leave it on default. All right, guys, and then you're gonna wanna hit apply and then okay, and you are now done. You can either launch GTA 2 from here, from the desktop shortcut. Now, if it does, if it launches once and it's in the still, you know, small resolutions being upscaled, then try to launch it a second time. So if I close the first instance and try doing it a second time, because sometimes the game has to run once before the settings will actually take effect. That may or may not happen to you. Now, if you launch it two times and it's still not doing it right, then you probably did something wrong and you need to go back and reconfigure DG Voodoo again. But as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And there you go, guys. Grand Theft Auto 2 and glorious 1440p. And yeah, guys, that's basically the whole video. I hope you found this helpful and useful and it helped you get GTA 2 in a good running working state. Please leave a big old like on this video if you enjoyed it and if you found it useful. And that's gonna be all for me for today. Until next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming, and I will see you all at the top. <laughs>